This is Fem and welcome to Tech Deals. Hopefully by now, based off our first few tutorials, you would have had a chance to give streaming a go. If so, congratulations! Today we're going to talk about the next element that can really help engage and interact with your viewers. This is alerts and overlays. Now, alerts are reactive in nature. They only display when a viewer interacts with your stream. That is through following, subscribing, donating. Any of those elements can cause an alert to appear. Alerts are great as it does alert the streamer that an event is happening. It gives them an opportunity to thank that viewer. Overlays on the other hand are either static or periodic displays that appear on the stream. They can convey information, represent a game, or even just graphically enhance the stream's appearance. There are many providers of different alert and overlay systems. There are three main ones that streamers bring up when they first start streaming. That is Muxy, Streamlabs, and Stream Elements. All these three systems are quite different. We're going to take some time today and talk you through the pros and cons of each of these systems so that you can make the correct choice for your stream. Let's start with Muxy. Welcome to Muxy. Unfortunately, Muxy is only available if you're streaming on Twitch. Muxy is a great beginner's program because it's not convoluted with a bunch of different features or widgets. It's just got the basics of what you need to get started. That is your basic alert functionalities, a dashboard so that you can review elements that are happening on your stream, and the ability to accept tips. All of these aspects are super simple to set up with user intuitive settings. Analytics are broken down into a daily aspect so that you can see elements of your stream's growth. They do offer a standalone program so that you are able to create custom text files to display on your screen. While Muxy is great because it's simple, if you're interested in really developing your stream in the long run, it may be just too simple. You may find yourself going to other websites looking for additional tools and features that Muxy does not have. Now Muxy is a great alert provider. It's not convoluted with a bunch of different settings and is quite intuitive and easy to set up. Not only this, it also does the expert level of alerts very well with a very, very well developed CSS and HTML coding input. However, while it covers simple and advanced, the middle ground seems to be left out. There's not really much advancement from the simple level without going to the extreme of CSS and HTML coding. I feel like this is Muxy's biggest drawback, honestly. The other thing with Muxy is they really haven't added that much in the last year or two. Just their basics has stayed that way. Is this a bad thing? Yes and no. It's great because it's a good, simple platform where streamers won't get mixed up trying to set up everything at once, but it does leave you thinking in the long run if you're going to upgrade and add more elements, why pick it? It's great for the streamers who want a simple setup which just covers your very basics of a pop-up alert box and tipping functionality. If you think you're going to want additional features in the long run, let's have a look at some of our other options starting with Streamlabs. Next up to the block, we have Streamlabs, previously known as Twitch Alerts. Streamlabs is the first program we'll look at that has functionality across multiple streaming websites. Streamlab takes what Muxy does well and turns it up to 11. They have a deeper, more comprehensive analytics system, additional widgets to cover your overlay and alert needs, as well as additional functions, including a standalone chat box, and a standalone streaming software that is fully integrated with Streamlabs. While they have all this additional extra functionality, with extra functionality comes extra setup and extra understanding of how to do everything. Now, don't get me wrong, Streamlabs does an excellent job of educating how to use the various elements of their software. But that doesn't excuse the fact that there is a lot to look through. New streamers may find themselves feeling overwhelmed by the sheer scope that Streamlabs covers. However, by starting with Streamlabs, 
There's definitely room to grow into the customized stream bot and the dedicated streaming software. But you have to be willing to make more of an investment beginning to get it set up correctly. So would I recommend Streamlabs for the beginning streamer? Well, the good thing is they have a lot of the basic functionality that you need beginning off. That is basic alerts, a tip system, and data analytics, while also offering room for expansion in the future through additional widgets, their chatbot, and even the integrated streaming software. But with more options comes more confusion. There are a lot of different things that you can set up that new streamers may feel like they have to set up in the beginning when this is not the case. I'll also say that the chatbot, while once you get it set up and running efficiently, is actually very hard to set up. Streamlabs has documentation to help you set it up, but this alone is over 25 pages long. Yeah, that's a lot of information. While the expansion opportunities are great, it's definitely overwhelming with you having to do a lot of the setup work yourself. Is this a good thing? Well, yes and no. Setting it up yourself from the ground means that you can make it exactly what you want it to be. However, it can take a lot of time that new streamers just may not be willing to invest. This is what brings us to our third streaming program, and that is Stream Elements. Here we have Stream Elements. Stream Elements is available for both Twitch and YouTube streaming. Just like Muxie and Streamlabs, Stream Elements has the basic fundamentals you need to help manage your stream. It's got a dashboard system showing basic analytics. It's got a overlay system for your alerts and overlays. It also has a tipping system. Additionally to this, Stream Elements also features a loyalty system and a pretty comprehensive chat box all built in to the platform. One of the best things about Stream Elements is they have preset a lot of the functions for you. All you have to do is go in and customize them to your liking. Pretty much every module on Stream Elements is optional and it's very easy to turn them on or off as you see fit or as your stream develops and you want more functionality. I will say the overlay editor is not my favorite. It's an all-in-one system so that you only have to load in one browser source. However, setting it up is just not the easiest thing in the world. If you are using their preset overlays, however, it does function as intended and is a little bit easier to navigate. Stream Elements also does have built-in spam filters for aspects such as links, capitals or emote spam to help prevent them in your chat. You do have to have the chatbot enabled for this. Stream Elements is very community driven. There's a lot of different ways you can set it up so that your community can react and engage with the system. So would I recommend Stream Elements for the beginning streamer? Well, just like Muxie and Stream Labs, it covers the basics that a new streamer needs. And similar to Stream Labs, it does expand on this with offering additional elements such as a chatbot feature and additional widgets. One thing I really like about Stream Elements is they've taken a lot of the hard work and done it for you. Stream Elements features a load of pre-made overlays as well as chatbot functions so that you don't have to set them up. You can simply click to enable them and customize them if you choose. With this, however, it does feel like they've skimped out on some of the more advanced customization options so that if you are a more developed streamer, you're kind of lacking in this area. It's something I definitely would hope they improve upon in the future. However, for the new streamer, having a lot of the hard work done for you is really, really nice. I will say there is one thing I cannot stand on stream elements and that is their overlay manager. While it's great in that you can set multiple different overlays, I'm really not a big fan of having all of your browser sources pushed into one overlay. The fact that this overlay creator is also not very well configured and all the settings are quite convoluted makes it quite hard to set up. And this is coming from someone who has two years experience in setting up overlays on stream. 
It's great if you're using the pre-made functions and you only need to go in and change some of the words or the layout slightly, but if you're building a scene from scratch, it can get quite messy quite quickly and turns into quite a bit of a headache. That's my opinion though, and just my experience from what I found. So should you use stream elements? Yeah, it's a great option. It's great for beginners, they've got a lot of pre-made functionality. They've got the advances you need as an intermediate streamer, but as an advanced streamer, uh, I'm not sure the customization is there yet. Ultimately, what program you should use depends on what you need from the program. Muxy is great for very simple alert functions. It doesn't have much else beyond that. It's great if you're only looking for the bare necessities, but has the ability to be customized in the future through CSS and HTML. Streamlabs offers more functionality and more features. However, it's a little bit harder to set up. You do need to spend a little bit of time looking through everything and looking how to set up the different elements such as the chat box and the integrated streaming software. Stream Elements, on the other hand, is smack bang in the middle. It does have a very simple user interface and it does feature a lot of the pre-made elements so that you can get set up quickly. However, in my opinion, it doesn't quite have as much customization as what Stream Labs does at the moment. All in all, I think these three systems, and don't get me wrong, there are more out there, but these three systems cover the three main types of streamers, your very basic and clean streams, your more advanced and flashy streams, as well as the ones that are kind of in the middle. Hopefully that's helped you decide what program you should use for your stream. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've loved this video, share it with a friend. If you'd like to see more content from Tech Deals and myself, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Until then, we'll see you next time.